I believe positive reinforcement is so valuable, you know? Oh, hello, I am Ghazala Khan. I teach grade two at HKA. And if a child is able to manage, help identify their emotions and respond to them correctly, that is one way of success for me as a teacher. Teaching here is just amazing because we put a lot of emphasis on building up a child's character, not just academics, but we really pay attention to giving them good habits, good soft skills, so I love that. age grade two is such a fun age because well, they're old enough to understand a little bit more but they're still young enough to really listen and love their teachers just such a loving bunch it's a great age children are exploring you know can I do this can I do that it's so fun to teach them to have confidence in themselves to try new things and you know to start projects to do things on their own it's really fun There's this theory called um, TPR, which is total physical response. So we try to use a lot of actions, we try to use um, vocabulary actions together that links up the word acquisition in a way where children are able to remember way more words because you are using body memory. We do a lot of different things within one class period. So everyone gets a chance to try their way of learning and absorb knowledge the way they want to absorb it. The third way is experiential learning, to make what we are learning related to real life. So this morning we did an exercise of standing only on one foot for a minute and that really helps you understand how long a minute actually is. Noticing where kids are trying, giving them that positive reinforcement for, you know, telling them, good job, you did that so well, now you can do this other thing really well too. Noticing what children are doing is very important. Giving them the roadmap to success and then praising them, noticing their work, that is very, very important. It is a lot more meaningful, a lot more powerful when they do the same thing at home children develop confidence in their abilities and I noticed just how positive the atmosphere is. Children feel safe that, oh, you know, this person, this person cares about me. Giving students social skills and, and also self-management skills, I think that requires a lot of refined teaching. <laughs>